Hi guys, I just realized as I'm editing this video that I didn't even create an intro. I just went to this antique mall, started filming like each booth, and I can't play the actual audio because they were playing music, so that's gonna be copyrighted. But I wanted to at least come in here and do an intro so that you know what you're about to watch. But we're gonna do some antique mauling thrifting. And yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorite little finds in this place. And then at the end of the video, we're gonna jump into what ended up in my cart. And oh my God.
All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Just got back um, from the antique mall. And I was actually gonna do like more thrifting than this, but this was just, I was on time crunch. So yeah, so first of all, the first thing is this bag. There was just something so cute and summery about it. Obviously like the, you know, the burlap feel to it and then the American flag. And there's actually a zipper like in this. It was so well made. And I think it was whoever like that booth belonged to in the antique mall. I think this person probably made it. I'm not sure. I don't see any like labels on the inside. Um, but absolutely gorgeous and you guys know or if you don't know like I love vintage like Ralph Lauren or just Ralph Lauren in general and this just kind of gives that that Ralph Lauren vibe so I really really like it I'm kind of imagining maybe adding like charms or maybe not I don't know just leaving it like plain and simple but we'll see I forgot what I paid for that um, for this little tote but yeah the next thing that I got was a Tommy Hilfiger um, like button up. Has that like jean look to it. Believe it's probably, yeah, it's men's. Here's the inside. I looked for Ralph Lauren in this one particular booth. I didn't find it. Um, and I really liked this button up. You can see the Tommy Hilfiger. I'm actually wearing a Tommy Hilfiger um, hat today. So I've just been like really getting into these two designers. I used to wear Tommy Hilfiger all the time in the 90s going to high school. I even had like the overalls. Um, but yeah, so it's just like, I would wear this with like leggings or shorts um, and then like a little crop top underneath kind of thing. And it's like gonna be a good transition from, you know, like winter to spring kind of. Now, everything else, because it's just my current passion. You guys know that I'm on my journey going, trying to go back home. So I just, I'm not in the ballpark to like buy decor, but I love this antique mall so much that I feel like before, like if I have a date, I know I'm going home, I'm probably gonna go back and score some home decor pieces because this place truly is a gym. But right now, because I don't have dates, I don't know what's going on, my, my hobby that's just like keeping me sane is junk journaling. So it's just the best hobby in the entire world. Um, yeah, so because of that, I'm very interested in books. I'm very interested in finding anything that looks vintage. Plus, I just like, I get serotonin when I think of any time before the 2000s. Anytime after that, it's all gone downhill. So before 2000s, thumbs up. Um, so anytime I see stuff like this, it just, but let me show you what I found. Okay, like, first of all, let's go in for this super adorable little birthday greeting card. This was $1. Here's the back. I'm definitely going to junk journal with this. I wanna keep it intact. I don't really want to mess with its originality. Um, so that's gonna be very important to me. But yeah, $1 for this beautiful little card. Then I found this one. It gives that like bingo look, but it's clearly a calendar. It's March 1933. Like how cool is that? So just love having pieces like this it's a dollar and yeah don't know what i'm gonna do or if i'm gonna use it yet but that was gonna come home with me for sure all right next up i found these two little books which clearly look like same author same illustrator and it just looks so adorable with books i can take it a couple of different ways i can either have it like in a library for my niece or I can use it to deconstruct and junk journal with. I feel like these I want to deconstruct and journal with, but I wanna be able to kind of like keep it in its format, but pull it apart, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna wanna keep the cover, I'm gonna wanna keep all of the inside pages, but I'm going to turn it into a junk journal, if that makes sense. So I will add other pages that I can 
um, you know, decorate. And I just thought that the illustration was just so adorable. And that's really what kind of got me. I love the old feel to it. I love the weathered look to it. Um, yeah, this is first day at school. I've never heard of these little books. Um, who is this? Tiggy? I don't know. I don't know who Tiggy is, but all right, she's going places. Um, and then, oh, a sight and sound happy ending book, whatever that means. Then we have this one, Tiggy and the Giant Wave. Now I'm gonna wanna find the other ones. Um, I think there's five in total. I don't know if they ever made any more, but according to the back here, we've got the new baby, Chippy goes to the dentist, Hoppity's first thunderstorm, adventure in the dark. We've got Tiggy and the giant wave, first day of school, Tiggy and the babysitter and moving day. Oh, I guess there's like multiples. I think they, I think it's like, yeah. It looks like one title, but I think they're actually two each. So two, four, six, eight. I don't know. So super cute. This one's gorgeous. It's beach. I'm going to want to do some type of like nautical junk journal with that. And with these, I paid $1.15. So what? Okay. This next find, I'm not quite entirely sure what I got, but I feel like I understand what I got. This is bridge but it is just like the paper that I guess you track to play bridge. Now, I love, I love Lucy and I've always wanted to learn how to play bridge cause they're like always playing it. Um, I have no idea how to play it, but I usually play like hearts or spades or something like that. But this was $4. I mean, it looks old. Oh yeah, okay. And that's exactly what it is. It's just, sheets of like just keeping score and this is also something i look for with junk journaling are just like really old like tickets or pages so i mean in this part right here it's like it's heavy you guys like this could be a weight on your desk it's pretty heavy it's gorgeous i don't know when this went into production i have no idea about this if you know comment down below okay Next up, I found this book. I haven't even flipped through it. I wanted to kind of like do a, an unveiling, I guess. But I knew the moment I saw this cover, I said, I don't need to know anymore. Look at this Ferris wheel. That's stunning. This is the Runaway Flying Horse. And I paid $8 for this. Look at this illustration. They just don't do it like this anymore. They really don't. I feel like illustration has changed so much that it's just like, yeah. Okay, I am, I mean, worth every penny. $8 for this vintage book. When was this in production? Let's see if it says in here, but. 1976 so this book came out in 1976 this one in particular all right now then i found mcbroom's zoo another one that i didn't even peek inside i just knew i was like yeah and this one i paid eight dollars look at that oh See, I love this. This does not deter me in the slightest of anything. It adds to the charm. So I love to see it. Super beautiful page. Um, this was 1971 or 1972. And here, I'm just gonna... Very pretty, a lot of reds in here. Yeah, gorgeous, worth every penny, but this cover is just stunning. I feel like with these two, I'm not going to deconstruct. I might steal like a page or two, and I, I don't even know if I could do that. I definitely think I want to have like a set of vintage books that I just want to keep intact. These two are probably going to be 
in that untouchable place. Then I found this one. I believe this one was $2. I mean, the cover, the book alone is stunning and I want to use this. I want to fully deconstruct this and then reuse the cover as my junk journal cover, the front and the back. So basically what I need to do though is widen the spine so that I can make a thicker junk journal, if that makes sense. And then I will, look at that. I will put some of the original pages back in, not all, cause there's just a pretty thick. And then I'll just end up using these pages randomly throughout like other junk journals, if that makes sense. Is that Lassie? Oh yeah, it is. Look at that. So beautiful. But yeah, I definitely, have to, um, I mean, it's just stunning. So we've got that. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, like pulling the book apart to widen the spine, this is done a lot, especially with little golden books. Um, remember when I sold my little golden book kits? Um, that's because you, the spine's just too thin and that way you can add more pages if you want to. And then obviously you guys have seen my junk journal and how thick it gets. So yeah. All right, next up, I did grab these two. There were so many. I'm thinking at some point, I'm probably gonna go back and get more of these. I was drawn to these two in particular because they had a Christmas theme, but I think all the other ones might've been Christmassy too. I don't really know much about this. Uh, I'm, I know I'm not gonna say it right. This is February edition. It was 25 cents and this is December. Um, Cor coronet Cor i don't know somebody correct me but it's just it's straight vintage it does not get any more vintage than this right here there's little ads it's kind of like is this kind of like a mini it's like a mini book slash magazine yeah I don't really know, but so pretty. The cover is really what got me. Like I could definitely um, pull that apart and use it. And then here's this one. Have no idea who that, oops. Uh oh, gotta be so gentle with these. Cause I mean, this has been around for a while, but you can see it just has such a vintage look to it stunning um like look how cute that is i wonder who that is um there yeah there's a lot of really pretty little pages to junk journal with i mean this is honestly like my dream finding gems like this okay next up i found mighty mouse and the phantom jetliner this was probably more 80s is what we're looking at here. Um, I just really liked how simple the pages were. I'm definitely going to junk journal with this. I don't know, there's a good chance I might keep it intact for now. A lot of these books are going to go like in the intact, keep them in their form, don't deconstruct them. Um, but eventually as time goes by, I might like, you know, visit my little vintage library selection and see if I want to pull from there, if that makes sense. Like these two, I don't think I'll ever pull, but like this one, I might pull. Then I was so excited about this one because I've always wanted these and it is the little Casper uh, comic books. And this is Casper and the Friendly Ghost. It's the Digest magazine. Tell me this isn't a gem of a find and this is like coming apart so got to be really careful with this one because i don't know what i want to do with it but this was actually feb 1992 so yeah gorgeous like i think this will be so fun to use during halloween and the last two i don't even know what i have in my possession I haven't even looked through it really. I just knew, but what is this? 
plaid stamps, a saver book. What? What is this? Did somebody like put these stamps in here themselves? I have no clue. If anyone knows like what this is, what purpose this served, please comment and let me know. Cause I truly, I truly do not know anything about it. Paste one single stamp in each of the 50 blocks of the page. Stamps should not be mixed on any page. I don't know what that means. But then when you get here, there's like, all of these stamps. It's so wild. And these pages are super flimsy. So like, look how gorgeous this sheet is right here to junk journal with. And I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I, I don't, I don't think I can pull this apart. And then the, here's this one. And it's essentially the same thing. I'm sure this book probably explains it. McDonald plaid stamps are your compensation for cash payment made when redeemed in accordance with the conditions herein. I don't know. Someone, someone's going to have to explain this to me, but essentially it's pretty much the same on the inside. Like... What? This, this little antique mall is off the charts. Like, I don't even know. And the total, I don't know how, I don't know what totaled this because I feel like a dollar, two dollars, eight dollars, but like somehow it was a hundred dollars. So I know this Tommy Hilfiger was $14. I don't know, maybe this bag was like in the 20s. So maybe like that's, where it all went but yeah so that's it that is the antique mall thrifting haul i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys i'm gonna do another thrifting haul i want to go to more like thrift stores next so that might be saturday or it might be like next week we'll see um i'm gonna come back tomorrow for a dollar tree haul thursday for a temu haul it's uh, it's huge and it's all things stationary, junk journal supplies, and I hunted down for each of these items. So come back Thursday for that. And then Friday, I'm not posting. Saturday will either be thrifting or it might be a Dollar Tree haul. And Sunday, I'm gonna go live for junk journal with me. So that's that. And by the way, I just wanna thank everyone for buying my junk journal kits on my Etsy shop. Linked below if you wanna get any of my kits. And my last few rounds are going out soon. But don't forget those of you that like pre-ordered my strawberry kit and my sunshine kit because they are the first round already sold out. It sold out same day. So this pre-order you don't get for like a month. It will start going out like the first week of April um, because I'm waiting for all of the material for it. So anyways, that's that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.